Welcome everyone, the iPhone 10 has received the iOS 16.2 update. Let's discuss the new features and whether or not you should be updating. Starting off, Freeform, this is a new app which is pre-installed on your device. It's essentially a virtual whiteboard. Um, you can collaborate with people virtually by sharing uh, an invite link. And this is a note-taking app, requires a dedicated tutorial which I will be working on. On top of this, you have advanced data protection. So if you go to your iCloud account settings, there should be an advanced data protection toggle. And if you turn that one on, all it means is only your devices can see all of your data in iCloud. Believe it or not, the FBI and Apple could actually see your iCloud information. They are now on able to. You also have updates to the home app. So if you use smart accessories, they should have better response time, better connectivity. If you use FaceTime and you want to uh, share a game center invite, they've made it easier by integrating share play with the game center. If you use live activities, with the Apple uh, TV app, just a regular TV app, you can now start live activities for sports games inside of the TV app. There are some features which the iPhone 10 did not get. So Apple Music Sync did not release for the iPhone 10. It was only iPhone 11 and newer. Uh, on top of this, uh, the lock screen. So always on display. They improved the always on display but that is still only iPhone 14 Pro and 14 Pro Max only. You did get a new widget on the lock screen. So if I just create a new wallpaper real quick like this, there is a new sleep widget. Of course, you do need an Apple Watch for that. There's also a new health widget as well. And there are some regular bug fixes, uh, but those really aren't important. So should you be updating? I would say yes, as long as you're on iOS 16, because the iOS 16 update does slow down the iPhone 10 quite a bit. It's gotten better with iOS 16.2, but this is still slower than iOS 15, which is slower than iOS 14, which is slower than iOS 13. Ideally, if you're on iOS 14 and older, you just stay until you can get a new iPhone. If you're on iOS 15, you may want to update, it's really up to you. Also do keep in mind that the iPhone 10 now has a jailbreak for life. So you don't really need to worry about the software. If you ever think about jailbreaking, just search up how to jailbreak you know, the, the iOS you're on and the iPhone 10 does have a jailbreak for life. So you can jailbreak iOS 16.2, even if you update to iOS 16.3, you can also jailbreak that as well. So there's no reason not to update if you feel like you want the new features in iOS 16. But again, a bunch of features are locked out for the iPhone 11 series newer, and then stuff like the, um, you know, the death effect that is also locked out to the iPhone uh, XS newer. So just keep that in mind. Not all features brace the iPhone 10, but this is a solid update. There's no real problems with performance you know it's still decent there's no problems with multitasking still decent no problems at all uh, with the iOS 16.2 so if you want to update definitely go ahead and do so